The following example illustrates local grid refinement using Visual Mod Flow Flex. First, let's take a look at the conceptual model. We have a simple regional scale model of approximately 150 square kilometers, a few pumping wells located in the middle, and we have an upper aquitard and a lower aquifer. Typically, you'd model this scenario with a variably spaced grid. In this case, you have uh, gradually refined the grid around the well field until the cell size gets smaller and smaller. The problem with this approach is that it creates additional cells in the regions that are not of interest for you and can lead to cells with irregular geometry. These factors combined can lead to longer run times and model instability. Using Modflow LGR, you can define a local grid only around the area of interest. Ideally, this results in shorter run times and increased model stability. One of the beauties of Visual Modflow Flex is it allows you to compare and assess multiple grid scenarios. As I've shown here, you can have a variably spaced grid or a grid with local grid refinement. Once the grid has been generated, you can display this in a 2D or 3D view. Another one of the advantages of local grid refinement is it allows you to refine not only horizontally but vertically in specific regions. An example of this can be shown on the screen here as we scroll through different cross sections. In this example, we have the uh, second layer refined by a factor of three only in the child grid region. After the grid is converted with the conceptual model data, you can view the properties and the boundary conditions. An example on the screen shows the initial heads coming from the conceptual model. You can mouse over to see the initial heads in the parent and the child grid region. Another benefit of the local grid refinement is, and the conceptual model approach is it allows you to leverage the more detailed data that you have in the area of interest. The example on the screen here shows initial heads coming from a distributed data source. It could be a surfer grid or an Ezriaski grid. You'll see in the parent grid region, you have a coarse grid that shows the different initial head properties, but in the child grid region, you have much more higher resolution properties for your model. Again, this lets you leverage the data that you have only in the area of interest, leading to more accuracy and ideally shorter run times. You can then view and edit the boundary condition cell zones for both the child and the parent grid. On the screen you see the constant head cells for both the parent and the child grid and these can be adjusted from the tree on the left hand side. And you can also see the child grid pumping wells. As you scroll through different layers you'll see these located in both the parent and the child grid in the upper and lower layers. Now we're ready to translate and run the model. In the translation settings you have various solvers and you have your LGR control parameters where you can specify your closure criteria. After the translation is successful you can proceed to running the Modflow LGR engine. This could be either 32 or 64 bit version depending on the version of eModflex that you're using. At the conclusion of a successful model run, you'll see the output nodes are now populated with the parent and child heads and drawdown. Let's take a look at the maps and the charts. You'll see now you have the corresponding heads for both the parent and the child grid region. In VMod Flex, we interpolate the heads over the child grid region since these are shown and handled as inactive cells by default by Modful LGR. You can show those as contour lines with color shading. And you can also see the corresponding drawdown. If you wish, you can add the child heads or drawdown to a standalone 2D or 3D viewer to see more high resolution data.
Again, you can see contour lines. You can uh, overlay this with other GIS data or map images. And lastly, you can take a look at the observed versus calculated charts for both the parent and the child grid. And you have an option to choose between seeing observations for just the parent or the child grid. This concludes the example on Modflow LGR. Thank you for your time. For more information, please visit www.vmodflex.com.